to surviving Mars, a game that could really only be explained as City Skyline meets Mars. I mean, it's, it's just all it is, you know? We're trying to send out a colony to get ourselves sorted on the red planet. It's, it's the future of humanity, you know this. My name is Twitchy and we are about to embark on a nice little quest to go and get ourselves colonized on the red planet as spoken about. The mission sponsor here, I'm gonna go with our normal mission sponsor. There are lots of other ones to choose from and they all give you a certain perks to start with, but I'm just gonna go with the very easy difficulty here as we're just playing a game and it seems like a great idea. You can see that rocket synthesized fuels, food supply from passenger rockets increases, colonists never get earth sick and large rocket payloads. So that, that sounding pretty good there. Commander profile, it give, gives us the rocket science, which, you know, it gives us all sorts of, of good bonuses there. But I'm actually going to go for the astrogeologist because I like to get deep scanning pretty early on. I have had a little bit of a play with this game uh, yesterday. Uh, we are the day after release right here. Uh, I thought it would be a great idea to find out that if I actually knew what the game controls were. It turns out, yes, I can figure it out. I know what's going uh, down. Let's move on and get this going here. So we should be able to have not too much of a stumbly episode here. Uh, looking inside my craft, we appear to have everything that I really want to get going here. I'm not so interested in the moisture evaporator. If we can have a fuel refinery instead, that's quite good because I find water laying around in most places. Uh, we've got ourselves a bunch of polymers, machine parts, and elect uh, electronics. Don't worry too much about those. Those are just materials for building extra stuff. We've got our three uh, basic th basic uh, rovers here. We'll rename these as we get out there, but this one, indeed, I'm going to try and rename. This is my big craft, obviously. Uh, my, my cargo vessel, if you will. And we're going to call this the Asimov, because much like Asimov is the one of the original bringers of sci-fi, this is the original bringer of cargo. So we're, we're going to go with that. I, th I think that's a, a good idea. We've still got 25,000 million. Is, is that 25 billion? 25 and a half billion? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We'll go with that. So let's launch the Asimov to Mars. Oh yeah, look at that. The red planet itself, complete with soul in the background, just making it a little bit hard to see what we are looking at here. Now we could go around and pick one of these pre-made launch sites here, or landing sites, launch sites. <laughs> Maybe at some point, but not quite right now. Uh, and try and try and find something that we want. Now, really, I'm looking for more metals and concrete than water. But uh, honestly, I will take anything that looks pretty good like that. We've got a pretty high chance of meteors. Okay, we could go for Elysium Beta. What about uh, Col no, Elysium Alpha? What about this? Uh, it doesn't look quite as good good if you ask me we could just pick a random colony site dust storms are high dust storms are low i mean mm, it's a bit hard to try and figure oh somewhere down here that's looking pretty good i think i think like this there we go let's let's be a little bit outside of the predetermined play areas bam look at me pushing back the boundaries exploring the unexplored i mean i assume that we had some sort of orbiter up trying to like look at the local areas so we could figure out exactly what is available to us in the local area because in situ resources very important to try and get uh f sector uh, sorry sector f7 scan we've got some stuff up there that that's something to pay attention to in a second but first welcome to mars everyone in mission control is impatient to see the rocket touching down and unloading its precious cargo yeah, we're going to go make a make a colony. The thing we need to try and get onto right now is get some water, oxygen, and power on the go. I think we can do that. Over here... <clears throat> welcome to Mars. Yeah, thanks. I, I don't think we need to know about that. Uh, so over here, this is the map view. Uh, inside, we can zoom in and get a much closer view of what's going on here. You see we've got some concrete, some metal deposits, an anomaly, and some deep metal, some rare metals, I believe those are. But uh, we might be able to find something better. So let's try and use these probes to have a look around the map that really wasn't what I wanted to do. Uh, have a look around the map and see if we can find ourselves Master somewhere a little better. Oh, that's pretty good. Still not quite what I'm looking for. I'm really after some serious, serious metal deposits. Let's try over this side instead. Okay, that's, um, it's all right, but it's not amazing. You can see here we've got some metals laying on the floor, so that should be pretty good. This one doesn't actually have anything like that. Uh, this is going to have concrete and metals. Let's go with that. Why are we re-scanning this? area that's doing a deep scan I'm not I'm not in for a deep scan right now so whilst also we've had our orbital probes we obviously have some sort of way of scanning these areas elsewise I mean I assume we just buy some like 
telescope time off of NASA or something like that. And you can see that we've got a scanning percentage at the top of this. So while that's doing that and we're having a look for more metals, let's think about where we're going to put down our delivery vehicle here. Now I'm thinking some something like this. I think something like this will work out quite well for us. We'll come down, we'll de develop a whole uh, colony system here. We're going to um, probably have some sort of dome somewhere around here because these these extra materials, they, they need people to get, get. But right now, we are here just with robots. So that that's fine. We'll be okay with uh, that. Camera controls, I think I can figure those out. Thank you very much. Bridge building construction. I'll, f I'll find the, br the building construction. I wouldn't worry about that too much. Let's come down here and have a look at our guy, our three guys here. Our three robots that we have sent ahead of ourselves. You can see this guy. He's got his own little drones uh, in the background. This is, this is quite good. I'm going to call this guy. Can we rename this guy? Please tell me I can, re I can rename this guy. I'm going to call this guy Spirit. Um, because, you know, Spirit, that, that that's a thing. Over here, we're going to call this one opportunity oh wait spelling's important you know so there we go opportunity and then this guy this is my our, our explorer definitely gonna call this one curiosity yeah bam right so we name these guys all after rovers spirit opportunity and curiosity now curiosity has got his own little hexagon on the go if we uh, no not curiosity sorry spirit he's got his own little hexagon on the go now this is uh, controlling these rovers here so whilst we're at it let's uh let's move this guy a little bit closer down to all these materials deselect and open up our building panel here now i want to go into the storages and immediately start putting down some universal storage between the concrete and and the metal here you see these are metal nodes so hopefully now these little drones are going to start coming along breaking down these metals putting them inside here whilst at the same time the drones are from my cargo vessel they're going to go inside they're going to grab all the various things that i have with me polymers electronics and machine parts and run them down to my universal storage down here so that's looking pretty good the next thing i want to do is set up a concrete extractor because obviously if we're going to have people we need to have them living in buildings and if we're going to have buildings we need concrete because we've been doing that for 2,000 years now and why am I going to stop right now? Uh, so let's come down to production and get ourselves, let's have a look, a concrete extractor. You can see we can also do metals and rare metals. Uh, this one over here is a rare metals node, but if I try and place it too far from domes, we need to put a dome down. So that, that's something to bear in mind, something to work towards. Uh, I can also see that I'm going to be able to fit like a couple of these in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. A couple of concrete... Uh, extractors so that should work out a-okay and once all my drones have done moving this stuff around they're going to come along and start working on uh, this over here now obviously concrete extractors are all good but if they can't move and do stuff then it's all a bit rubbish right so we need to try and figure out some sort of a power system i think i'm going to go for wind turbines oh actually look at that because we chose the easy start we get sterling generators now these things uh they're quite susceptible to dust if you leave them open but they have a closed state as well so let me just grab these oh i've already put a wind tur turbine down we'll, we'll, we'll go with that we will go with that i should be able to just place those down like that i Okay, perfect, beautiful, and lovely. Now, of course, we've got power, but we need to be able to like drag the power systems around. So here's a couple of cables just to make sure we can get the power where it needs to go, like that. Okay, cool. If I just speed up time a little bit here, we should be able to see the drones going around and doing the business. Inside here, if we feel like we need to uh, up the ante and get this concrete factory made, quick as possible we've got a sort of priority system on the go in the top left so we can uh, say exactly where we want stuff now these guys are complaining that they haven't got any sort of power drain hooked up to them and i'd like to put a power accumulator or two down this is kind of like big batteries uh so it keeps hold of all the power that we make during the day or at night and uh stores it for a later use i've got a feeling though that these are going to be producing enough power to not really worry about it too much uh we've also been neglecting the technology I know, terrible of me, terrible of me, but that's just the way it works sometimes. You can see up here we've got a sponsor of 300, 300 tech per day. And what do we want? Water reclamation? I'm not bothered about that. We haven't got any people at the moment. Uh, cargo space increased by 10,000 kilograms. It's pretty good. I'm not that bothered by it. Uh, the RC transport harvest resources faster. Uh, that one will be pretty good. Sensor towers no longer require power. We'll give that a go. Um, productivity training, engineers and geologists. Um, I don't have people. I don't have people. So let, let's go with those right now and let it play through for a little bit. Uh, the next thing we need to start figuring out is how we can find some 
water, which hopefully we're going to find in one of these close places around here. Unexplored, a high chance of concretes and metals. We'll put that one down next and wait and see what happens. Now, you may notice that these are all kicking around here, these yellow symbols. They are anomalies and they are for curiosity to go around and have a look at so let's try and do that now literally it's just going to run up there and you can see this analyzing anomaly bar starts filling up we are waiting for that to fill up to get the reward that's inside now this one with the key i believe unlocks a piece of technology i know crazy how crazy that it would happen to that oh we haven't put a drone hub up we'll we'll, we'll think about that is there a way of just like putting this back for later no i can only cancel it so whilst this uh, fills up we will get on with the drone hub that he said oh easy easy uh that's the problem with the right click being the same button to move as to open the build menu it's, it's a little problem that I found, but nothing that I can't really deal with. So we're talking infrastructure. Let's get a drone hub out. Now, this is how we get more drones to do our bidding and is more of a permanent settlement than the, uh, the cargo vessel or our little uh, drone hub here. Now, this guy, he can move around anywhere we want. So maybe just leaving him here is not the way forward. Maybe we want to move him over, over towards some of these other deposits. Maybe these are deposits up here. And try and get ourselves a nice little way marker set down. But for now, as we're just concentrating on our base, let's just concentrate on the base. Oh, look, the uh, anomaly has been uh, scanned. Uh, we got an achievement for it. Oh, hype. Hype. So we're doing pretty well. There's New techs are available the for and research. Of the red planet that meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So long as you know where to look. Okay, the following texts have been revealed to the research screen. So there's two two steps to almost all research in this game. There's knowing that you need to know it, and then there's knowing it, right? So there's uncovering it on the board, and then there's actually researching it. So here we've got Drone Swarm and Earth Mars, Earth Mars Initiative. If we open the research station, all they've done is uncovered them. We've not actually got ourselves the research done. I'm going to queue up Drone Swarm there, because I've got a feeling it's going to be quite helpful for us. You can see Drone Hubs are constructed with two additional drones and the maximum number of drones has increased by 80 which is a lot like that's a lot a lot but, but we're, we're gonna let them run around in the background here and we're gonna get curiosity on to the next bit now whilst that one gave an unlock and uncovered stuff on the research screen this guy here this anomaly right here gives us extra points so if I, if I come back in oh no if I come back into here you can see it costs so many points to do the research we get 300 per soul there the uh, the the little anomaly here will just give us a windfall of like a thousand or something like that Sensor towers significantly boost your scanning speed for nearby sectors. They also give an advanced warning for disasters. Uh, so there we go. Let's let's do that. Sensor tower. Hmm. Let's unselect our, our, our vehicle first, and then go to the sensor tower. Now, at the moment, it needs cable and power and stuff like that. Uh, overlaps deposit. Let's put it there. Uh, but there is a research very early on that you get that enables you to not have to worry so much about power for sensor towers. So that that should be a okay there. Research complete. Research complete, amazing. We gained a thousand, obviously opened up our research there. Uh, what do we want? Low G rovers? Let's go for that as well. We're just gonna like study all of these up and try and make our rovers as good as possible because they're the ones that are going around and doing the real work. I mean, people are good, but they're, they're not really the actual movers and shakers of this particular game now, are they? Now this, the RC transport, can go around and collect materials, but I'm having real trouble actually finding materials to collect. There's a... Uh... Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Meteor Ooh, incoming. we got a whole bunch of stuff just coming there, but I keep seeing rocks like this, and these kind of make me feel like they're metal deposits, but they're not. The The rocks are a much more silvery colour, uh, so it looks like that there's not anywhere for me to go right now, and we have got zero resources, zero metals, so that's pretty pretty bad actually we've got sector 7 uh, g7 scan and it says over there yeah look at that that we've got some metals there okay so we're gonna end up having a dome complete. somewhere like here i think yeah most definitely is th this literally just land i don't remember seeing that anywhere i don't remember seeing that so we, we have a bit of a problem that we're not able to get this rc transport underway so we'll, we'll not worry too much about that but one thing i am slightly worried about is this build up of waste material on the side here so let's come into our building material storages and dumping site let's just kind of 
Oh no, pop that there. That that should work out pretty well for us. All these rocks are now going to get moved over there. And people should be able to make use of everything else that is underway. Look at all this metal. Just look at all the metal. This is amazing. You see we've got 23 on each of them. 25 on this one. That is pretty good right there. Pretty good. Right, next thing we need to start thinking about is a oh, water. And I'm a little bit worried actually. We've got a deep water node over there. But I'm not seeing a close close and easily accessible water node. I'm hoping actually let's uh, let's get rid of those two and then go like that again and that should help us out there. 3% buildable areas 92 sensor towers boost 335. Do you reckon we can add another sensor tower? Is is that a thing? I'm not sure. I've never tried to go beyond one. So let's try it. Let's let's do this. Let's have a little experimentation. Water can be produced by the water extractors and moisture vaporizers. Water, water extractors require water deposits while evaporators prefabs must be bought from Earth with resupply ships. Also consider, consider setting up water tower as emergency storage. Pipes are used to connect all of these things. Okay, well that's good. I'm still lacking the water node. I don't know whether I can actually set this up just on top because the red background here is a deep node. and I'm not sure if I can get a deep node with a normal extractor. Should we try and find out? That, that's got to be a thing. It's in life support here. Unexploitable deposit. I, I don't know. You lack the technology to exploit these resources. Okay, so th there's got to be a thing that we can do to find more water somewhere. You, buddy, come back to the power network. Look, your power, your battery's getting a little bit drained, and I'm fairly sure we should be able to get you sorted just by sitting on top of one of these wires. Now, I'm starting to know that we're getting a little bit compact here. We, we uh, are running out of room to do stuff, and I think the best way to try and solve Sector that problem scan. is to I'm run this cable scan. out and around Maybe, can we take this anywhere? No, no, I've actually and honestly pinned myself in here. Let's just take a little bit of a, a, a run up there with the cable. I kind of wish I'd put the drone a little more to the side. But okay, we'll, we'll deal with it like this. And then we'll take this down here and try and find some way of putting extra stuff on there. Yes, indeed. All right, we've got that clear. I think I'm going to let it run for a little bit. Hopefully find out what's in. Oh look, this one's been scanned already. We've got an anomaly, but we do not have water. Uh, high chance we've got metals. I really am after the water though. If, if I could get that, that would be great. Thanks. So my tech's been ticking over, and I've just noticed that in here we've got Explore AI Robotics. Generate a hundred... Uh researches per soul for each RC Explorer vehicle. That's the curiosity that we've had. So I'm gonna, definitely going to put that onto the queue as well. But I think we should probably start thinking about what we're going to get next. Adaptive probes. Probes are cheaper. Can deep scan. That's a great idea. Let's get that as well. Can I uh, queue that up? Maybe we'll get the uh, the rocket cargo fuel uh, extension because um, you're fairly sure that there's going to be better stuff in the engineering tab. There's, there's got to be. You know what I'm saying? There absolutely has to be. Scanning out a little bit. You can see that we've got a few of these sectors, but all we found are Anomalies so far. Still looking for that water. Uh, I'm sending my uh, RC transport drone here, or as we call it, opportunity, to come along and get ourselves a few extra metals. I've got a feeling that our little storage areas here are probably overflowing, but we'll, we'll be fine with that. We'll be fine with that. Anomaly, I really would like to get some sort of readout. There we go. So how many are available? New tech research. That's pretty good. That means that you down here, let's have a look. Where are you? Yeah, you've done your job. Good work. Good work. Come up to uh, this one next and start having a look at all the, these things you sir go and get some more metals there appears to be an entire little patch here to be got more than i can actually carry that's pretty good that that's yeah actually 45 might be sector able to get scan. through all of it we've got some more found. sector scan but none of them actually giving me water but you'd think the explorer had found buried treasure the way our scientists were reacting it was a sulfur rich regolith Ooh, sulfur. Now we can focus on geothermal analysis of the most sulfur-rich sulf samples and get our engineering research boost, or we can get an extra 10,000. Now we've not been doing many engineering research boosts, so I think I'm going to go for the 10,000 and just get a quick payoff there. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see how Curiosity is doing on battery. Not so great, so let's bring them back for a recharge before going off over here. Loads of concrete, not so much on the water. It's a little bit of a shame. We're at 96% scanned here, so if I just carry on talking Sector for a little scan. bit longer, we should find out that this place does indeed have no water. Ah, okay, so what we're going to have to do to wrap up this ex episode is try and bring ourselves a better system of making water. So let's come down to the resupply. Let's make ourselves a new cargo rocket. I'm going to call this one the Clark, because of course, Asimov brought us the earlies. 
Clark built upon that. It, it just kind of makes sense. It makes sense. Now I'm going to come into the prefab buildings and try and make myself a few things here. Things like the moisture evaporator. Uh, it's, it's a need. It's a need. Uh, maybe also the polymer factory, but we'll leave it like that. Uh, do I want any of these? I don't think I do. I think mainly now all I want is to bring a little bit of food because at some point we're going to be thinking about getting some food and just bring up a whole bunch of these other materials here. Maybe get some orbital probes on the go so we can find out what's looking around. We are overflowing with concrete so I'm not that bothered. I'm only going to get two drones out because I don't think we need that many. Uh, let's have a look back in the prefabs. Is there anything? Maybe a second moisture evaporator. That, that would probably work out quite well. I mean how many of these can we take? Can we take four? I'm going to go with four. Four seems like a good idea and I'll just keep Ch chugging on with all these. Maybe not so much food as we are not interested in people quite yet. Uh, orbital probe. There we go. Looking good. Let's bring the Clark back. Let's bring the Clark back. Okay. Uh, so everything's been uh, anomalized. Uh, really, really looking to see what the analyze comes back with from this 24 25 i mean it's pretty quick it's happening a second percent so that should be a-okay to just wait around wow look at all the dust just look at all the dust Okay, last uh, sector, sector getting scanned down. Nothing, absolutely nothing. So thankfully, we've got the Clark is about halfway on its way. You can see well, we've got everything down there. We are in transit, so we've just got to uh, wait it out. I'm uh, thinking about where we're going to put stuff. Now, I'm thinking the uh, water is probably going to have a good go being down here. If it's just going to be pulling stuff out of the air, and we're going to have ourselves a dome there. Somewhere down here seems like a great place to put that. So let's get ourselves a little bit of power cable dragging out that way. Uh, we could also do now that I think about it with a fuel generator now where did I put it it was over here fuel refinery I want to have it on this side I'm actually going to turn it all the way around and put it like that yeah that that looks good so we have water flowing out from a section here and up and then back to the fuel refinery here because that it needs water it needs water at 89% we're getting very very close to actually being able to take this back uh, have we got any refueling underway we have actually got refueling underway of course because we took the um the, the, the start company that we did, we are making a rocket fuel inside the rocket, which is just amazing. Sector Absolutely scan. amazing. It means that we don't have to worry too much about the fuel, fuel refinery, but I like it. No resources. How dare you? This whole entire area, all we have is a deep extraction zone. Uh, I kind of would like something better. I can't take that one. Okay, that's a shame. I kind of would have liked to have a little bit more... Uh, resources around that's that's the, the, the words i'm trying to say there i'm gonna just pop clark down across from asimov it seems like a good idea uh yeah actually it does seem like a good idea let's go with that got all this available to us yeah okay it's, it's lo actually looking really really good if i come in here and make up actually no i'm gonna i'm gonna leave that for next time drone assembler that's something i've never seen before Wow, okay, we're going to have to work on that, it turns out. But with Clark down, let's come to our building. Let's have a look inside our life support. And we should be able to get these moisture evaporators. If I turn them around, we can have these lined up much like the fuel depot over there. So there's those four. Prefabs from Earth. Brought just so we can, like, you know, make ourselves comfortable here. Let's get some pipes on the go. I'll go with this all the way to, to here. Does this actually connect to all of them? It does actually connect to all of them. I like that. I like that a lot. And we're going to have the dome up there as indicated uh, earlier, but we should Sector be pretty scanned. good with that. Anomalies have been found just over there. Okay, well that's that's pretty cool, but it's not what we're going for. Uh, has curiosity. It's got a, ref got a refuel. It's got a refuel. Let's go over there and see if we can get some stuff stuff okay but with all the water sorted starting to get ourselves a little bit of a power back on the go as you can see their fuel is being stored pretty quick how far away are we from that we are quite away from sending that back but with that i'm gonna say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you next time we're gonna get a dome built but you see how we've got like these metals and these rare rare earth elements let's, let's call them that why not rare mars elements yeah uh we're going to start extracting these next time so i'll see you then when we're gonna do that bye